Here is a short video about how you can use iGaze through the programs Look to Learn and Look to Read by using the Grid 3. To use the programs, we need to download the required grid sets. These enable you to use your iGaze calibration through the Grid 3 software within the programs Look to Learn and Look to Read. To do this, from Grid Explorer, simply go to the menu, Add Grid Sets, Computer Control, Within here, you can see two grid sets, computer control for look to read and computer control for look to learn. Select the one you require. Next and add. This is then added it to my grid explorer. You can then choose the option to open it up. This is a really helpful resource for anyone who's supporting an iGaze user. Uh, you can quickly see if someone is in a good position or not. You can check whether they are happy with their calibration or require to recalibrate. You also have a button here to start the program, Look to Read. Look to Read is a facilitated activity, so the idea would be that until you, the book opens up, the facilitator would take the user through, um, choosing the options on the screen. I choose Start, choose my stage, and then choose my story. Choose Start, and then once the book starts up, the user is able to look around the screen to interact with the activity. iGaze control works within the book, as well as in the chat pages. As well as inside any of the activities. Once you've finished with the activity, you can see there's a stop button in the bottom right hand corner. This is the grid tree running in the background. You can choose this and this will take us back to our grid set. We can go back into Grid Explorer. Same options apply here for Look to Learn. We can add the grid set and we can see that the layout remains the same. We have our track status in the centre of the screen as well as the options here to calibrate and then launch the software.